Hello to Miss Haley and the students of Greensburg High School in Indiana. My name is Daniel and I'm coming to you from 3,700 miles away at Annick Castle in Northumberland in the United Kingdom. Uh, we are standing by the banks of the River Alm and on the hill behind me is the castle itself where it stood for nearly a thousand years. We know that there has been a castle on that spot since the year 1138 and the fields that I am standing on today have been the site of many fights and battles over the castle. The King of Scotland, King Malcolm III, was killed on these fields just over 900 years ago. But since the year 1309, one family has lived and ruled at Annick Castle. They are the Percy family, now known as the Dukes of Northumberland. Medieval castles like Annick were designed for keeping people out and this medieval entrance called the Barbican was full of obstacles to stop enemies breaking in. There were drawbridges, portcullis gates, archers from the top of the battlements firing arrows and other barriers to make sure nobody ever conquered the castle and nobody ever did. The man in the statue behind me is Harry Percy, who got the nickname Hotspur in the late 1300s because the spurs on his suit of armour were literally hot from the speed he would ride into battle. Harry Hotspur never became the Lord of Annick Castle because in the year 1403 he was killed rebelling against King Henry IV. But his adventures, his battles and his deeds became so famous and he became so famous as one of the greatest medieval knights that William Shakespeare made him the hero of his play of the life of King Henry IV. Hundreds of years after Harry Hotspur was alive, the castle was restored by the Percy family. Elizabeth and Hugh came here in the 1700s and made huge repairs, like the ones you can hear behind me uh, right now. Uh, in 1766, King George III made them a Duke and Duchess. Ten years later, he was receiving advice and updates from the American Revolutionary War from Hugh Percy's son, the second Duke of Northumberland. Much more recently, the 12th Duke and Duchess live inside Annick Castle today, and they have used the place as a filming location. You might recognise the grass behind me as the place where Harry Potter learnt to fly his broomstick in the movie Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That's all from me in Annick Castle in Northumberland in the UK. Uh, hope you're all well in Indiana, and we'll see you again soon.